Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Scorpios out there for the week of February 10th to the 16th. So, let's get after it. Okay. <clears throat> Summer Rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising Venus and Jupiter. Summer Rising Venus and Jupiter. Summer Rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What kind of love or energy is coming towards my Scorpios during the week of February 10th to the 16th? Here we go. Okay, so we're dealing with someone that's looking for looks it looks at you as having like a rebirth or renewal, a, a renewed opportunity um, to really kind of get things jump started a little bit here. So um, they're looking at you as a, a new opportunity, this connect this 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 reintroduction if you will to a relationship as a new opportunity um this happens to be a younger air sign individual okay gemini libra or an aquarius um yeah so um this this younger uh air uh this younger air sign individual um again um, immaturity, um, immaturity versus inexperience, interchangeable, if you will. Um, this individual definitely, uh, it definitely is a bit younger than you for sure. Um, and, and they, they kind of put a couple fillers out there and they're just kind of waiting for, uh, waiting to see, you know, what comes over the horizon and waiting to see, if this if this is this, this going to be a true renewal of opportunity for you to get back together with this individual now again get back together gave it away this is definitely an ex situation here um and they're looking at this situation as they want to have the burden removed they're looking they think there's enough time that's passed now where there's going to be a removal of this burden of them being alone being without you okay as you can see here this is definitely an ex most definitely an ex um, and they have been pretty much blowing up your social media, you know, um, com trying to communicate with you on multiple, uh, multiple, uh, uh, messages, you text messages, you know, communicating with friends, with family, um, trying to reach out to your social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, the whole nine there. They've been really trying to get in contact with you again. Um, however... Uh, this individual has some problems, has some addictions that um, they're dealing with here. It could be alcoholism. It could be opioid addiction. It could just be an overall toxic personality here. Um, and that's why you've kind of chosen to keep your distance from this individual. Um, now, it appears there's been some, um, there, you know, they have done some contemplating some reflecting there has been some contemplating some reflecting about the situation uh, there's, there's nothing been uh, contemplation and reflection about the situation um, however and, and they've decided you know, and, and they, they're at a crossroads in their life they're definitely at a crossroads in their life for sure um, the issue is uh, does this crossroads uh does this crossroads means that they um are ready to give up that addiction um let me get let me get some preparation i'm not feeling that it is but let me just let me just make sure Give me some clarification on this double card. Why is this double card here? Give me some clarification on this double card. Why is this double card? Here? Okay. Um. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So that you know that represents a new opportunity here. Um. So they are aware that it, that this situation, this crossroads situation, this double card represents um, represents 
a, a, an opportunity for them to get themselves together. Okay. Now, herein lies the rub. Herein lies the rub. Um. They are. There's this sense of them them doing this for you okay um and not so much doing it for themselves that could be problematic number one number two um i'm getting the sense that they have slowed down that they haven't stopped um yeah and also i'm getting the sense here that um that uh, um, they're going to require you to um, really assist them in this transition, okay? And so, I mean, un unfortunately, it's putting an un unfair burden on your shoulders, okay? I mean, that you know, that's that can be a bit of a of a of a burden in all of it of itself. So let's see what kind of strengths are you gonna be working with what kind of strengths are you working with? What kind of strengths are you working with here? What kind of strengths are my Scorpios working with? Here? These are your strengths here. So things have gone full circle for you, okay? Okay, things have come have gone full circle for you. So um, you've uh, dealt with your, uh, your 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 issues and your problems, if you will, going through this relationship with this individual. This giving you a sense of liberation, a sense of freedom, okay? Uh, so things have gone cir full circle for you. Um, in addition here, also we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're looking for something, um, you're looking for something, uh, someone that shares this aspect of wanting to create something financially solid. Okay, you're looking for something financially solid at this point. Someone that you can grow with, something, someone you can build something with here. Um, it, it seems to be the key here. Um some type of legacy. You're looking to create some type of legacy for you and your children, possibly your grandchildren as well. Um, and, you know, when you were to have children, if you already have them. Um, but also, I see a judgment card here. Okay? So, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility that, you know, if things were to change, you would not be opposed to connect reconnecting with this individual now the degree of that connection is the issue the degree of that connection is the issue it could be a, a, a reconnecting as far as a friendship things go just just you know trying to um you know being there for what they need you to be what they need you to be there for which is kind of like you know to to kind of um help them maneuver through the process of, of getting over this addiction meaning rehab and things of that nature or it could mean that also that you are not opposed to getting back to this and getting back with this individual in a relationship capacity okay so that's interesting um also we have the queen of pentacles here okay which means that again finance a uh, financial aspect again is that um, you know you're 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 being you're you're being very frugal with your finances. You're really very down to earth, very grounded with your finances and things of that nature. Um, also, we have the Queen of Wands here. Tells me that you know you're sending out vibrating energy. Also, you're trying to pull in and attract a uh, 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 vibrating energy as well. Now, with that being said, you're definitely not afraid to leave someone out in the cold. Okay, you're not afraid to leave someone out in the cold. Uh, if, if, if things begin to kind of move in the wrong direction here, which is why this individual is your ex, 
okay? Um, there's also Ace of Swords. Mental clarity. Removage of blockages. So, you know, one thing that you can be assured of. If there's any, any silver lining to this situation, is that you're going to enter this thing with a sense of mental clarity. You're going to know exactly what you're getting into. Um, you're going to know exactly the limitations that you have and the exact amount of time and effort and energy that you're willing to put on it. So you're very clear about that. There, there's no, there's no, um, uh, there, there's no cloud cloud of judgment here. You know exactly what this situation is. So if you go into this situation, in other words, you're going, you're going into the situation with your eyes wide open. All right, and you are looking for deep, true love. Okay, um, and there could be some of that still left over with this individual. Okay, uh, also you're looking for an equal give and take. Okay, and at the moment, I can tell you for sure that equal give and take is not going to be here with this individual. It's just not going to be. It's not possible. This person is not capable of doing it at the moment. So, okay, so with that being said here. Let's see what type of things from whew, what type of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation. What type of thing for your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What type of things could possibly affect the outcome of this situation here? Okay. Okay, so. We have the Ace of Wands. So, as I said, okay, uh, there is some type of connection that's still there. Now, there's definitely a strong sexual attraction to the situation. You're definitely sexually attracted to this individual. Um, if that sexual component, that sexual attraction that you have um, ha overrides uh certain apprehensive certain apprehensiveness you have um then you then you may go back there and give it a second chance or at least you'll test the waters to see if 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 things are going to are going to change okay in the past you, you've done it uh and and it looks I'm getting the feel that you probably would do it again um, just to kind of see where things are. <sighs> we have uh, Sixth of Swords, moving, transitioning. And so the only thing that would definitely, probably the only thing that would probably keep you at a bit of arm's length, uh, just kind of like tepidly, you know, sticking your finger in the water, seeing where things are, is you want things to move to a more peaceful transition, okay? You want a peaceful transition. You want there was a lot of craziness with that situation. You need things to move into a more calm, tranquil, tranquil type of situation, tranquil type of lifestyle at this point. Not all the drama and the chaos. And so that you know that there there's that balancing. There's that there's that balancing. There's that temperance. There's that temperance. Okay. There's that temperance. Um, you know, that looking for an equal give and take. And as I said, at the moment, that's not going to be possible with this individual. It's just simply not going to be possible. Um, I'm not saying it's not going to be that way in the future, but you are looking for an equal give and take. And so in the past, you know, that may have not have been an issue, but it's definitely something that you're looking for now. So that, you know, that may be, you know, an issue there. Um, but initially, I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, it's really up to you. So let's see what kind of additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down here? Okay, there we go. Mm. Well, first off, we have unity, moving as one. 
Okay, spirit wants to say, listen, you you want to move with one with someone. You want you want to be able to move as a unit, move together. Okay, um, only pursue this situation um, if there's a possibility of you guys being able to move as one. If, if you guys are, are are able to move as a unit, uh, otherwise. You're kind of spinning your wheels here, and it's kind of a bit of a redux. So, just if you, if you know, if there's a possibility of you moving as one, you being one with this individual, then go for it, okay? But if not, um, just just have just have that that mindset when you move going into this. Also, spirit saying keep moving, keep in motion, keep in motion, okay? Keep. Moving forward, don't stop. Don't let this stop uh, your momentum, your transition. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Don't stop. Okay. But also, Spirit wants to say there is an absence that is there. There's absence. Okay. There's a void that's there. This addiction has has created a void. This empty space that's there. Okay. Um. And to be aware of that, to be aware of that, you know, like I said before, uh, um, you're, you're not going to go into any situation with your eyes shut. You're going into this with eyes wide open. The spirit's just kind of giving you that little bit of nudge like, hey, listen, okay? I'm just kind of kind of making you aware here that, you know, um, this is this is the deep end of the pool, okay? So just just keep that in mind. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Um, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and please subscribe. Um, this is a general love reading. Um, it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, if it did not resonate with you and you want to know a little bit something more about your particular situation, again, the link's below. Feel free to get a personal reading. If this did resonate with you and you want to know a little bit more about this situation, again, the link will be below. Um, my name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.